Alrighty. Democracy Bureau. I've turned assassinations off. Political capital off. You guys can leave them on. You guys can leave them off. It all depends on how you want to do it. I will play the mission. Basically, I'll play the game sometimes to where I have assassinations on. Just to see who I can piss off the most for them to kill me. Um, political capital. I pretty much see that as... I see it as the currency in the game. If you have two points in political capital, then you can do two points worth of moves. And sometimes you're going to have multiple moves where you don't have enough capital to actually make any changes. But I turn all that off. I turn assassinations off. I just want to see how much fun I can have with the game. Sometimes I'll play the game where I want to see what my personal views would do and how far that would get me in the game. Um, so I'll turn on assassinations for that. I will leave term limits the way they are and do all that stuff. Um, I'll leave everything. Basically, I usually don't mess with any of this type of stuff. But I'd just like to see what my personal views would get me. But I probably won't be doing this with my views anytime soon. Only because you start saying what your views are, then other people want to argue with you and tell you that their views are better. Which I'm completely fine with getting into that debate. But I don't want to. So we're going to do this one as... everything in moderation so we're not banning all drugs but we'll ban some drugs we're not banning all guns we'll ban some guns all right gdp pretty bad health tanked education decent uh poverty low crime skyrocket and unemployment, pretty high. So, we're going to come over to here and start with narcotics. All of it outlawed. Legalize cannabis. Legalize LSD. Nice. Legalize all drugs. Hmm. Well, it's just everything in moderation. So, we'll go with LSD. Why not? So uh, drug consumption goes up, drug addiction goes up. Conservatives, conservatives get happy about having LSD. Are you serious? Okay, no, they go down. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so legalize LSD. Yeah, I turn that off, but it'll still pop up asking if you want to confirm. Okay, so police force medium. That's pretty moderate. So we're legalizing drugs and not giving extra money to the police. So I'm going to guess crime is going to go up. Armed police. We will go with uh, widespread or submachine guns. Every officer is armed. So we'll just go with widespread. Prisons. Overcrowded. Shared, basic, some re-education. So, we'll err on the plus side of moderate. So, some re-education. Need to sit them down and tell them what they did was wrong. Legal aid. I got another. Oh, that's high. Can't go high. Alcohol law. No limits. Nice. I'd like to get that eight-year-old drunk before that spelling test on Friday. Low strength beer. Anybody remember O'Doul's? Or Zima? Ah, Zima. Intelligence service. We'll go sizable spy agency. Death penalty. Now, if we're doing it with moderation, mass murderers only, homicide, homicide, and rape, 
violent crime, serious crime, for most crime. Death penalty for most crime. I bet that would lower the crime rate. We'll go for violent crime, because that's kind of the moderate. Mm -hmm. Let's see, do you want a trial by jury? We'll go with it if you request it. Who wouldn't request it? Alright, now let's go over to Law and Order and continue. Cameras will be on every corner. Seems pretty widespread. Face recognition. Yeah, we'll go with town centers. Uh, law and order. Community police. We're just doing everything in moderation. That's what they say, right? Medium. Curfews. Oh, 1% of the population want curfews. 1% of the voters want curfews. I'm going to guess that would be the people who have to get up at 5 in the morning and go to work. So we will do 1 to 3 a.m. 12 to 6. Dear goodness. 10 p.m. to 8. Yep, 10 o'clock. Go to bed. We'll go with 1 to 3. Or would you rather have uh, in certain areas? In certain areas, I, would, I still see moderate as slightly above average. Detention without trial? Okay. Three days, seven days, seven days. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's the middle. 30 days detention without trial, so you better hope you don't get arrested in this area. Gambling. No stakes, no restrictions. No, oh, no limits, no restrictions. I have been drinking. I guess we'll just go with no statement. ID cards. Okay, everybody has to have an ID card. Biometric, heavily enforced, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's speed this up. Internet censorship. Since that's already happening. We're doing moderation. Prostitution. Max, high, medium, low, none. We'll go to a medium high. Hey, the GDP's going up. Legalized prostitution raises money for your country? Because you can tax it? I mean, if that's the same thing everybody's saying about the drug problem, legalize drugs and then just tax them, then we make money. Okay, well, legalize prostitution, tax it, make money. Do prostitutes get W-2s? Wiretapping on police request. That's fair. Racial profiling. I mean, I wouldn't, but we'll just have to go with medium. Ooh, Race Discrimination Act. Yeah, medium. Speed cameras. In residential areas. Sure. Now, the fun thing about the way I'm playing the game is I don't care what my income is, what the taxes are and tariffs, I don't care what the expenses are, and I don't care how much money I'm making or losing, because I'm just here to uh, set up the dominoes and see how they fall. Police 
police drones. Medium. Microchip implants. Medium. How does that even make sense? Do you get a medium number of implants put into you? Electronic voting? Well, since apparently I'm going to go ahead and say that internet crime does not exist, so I'm sure voting by a computer from your home will be perfectly fine. I don't need to fake that. Wrong button. Secret courts. Ooh. Ooh. Everyday crime, Sam. Just, I guess that would be capital crimes. General media censorship. Right, over here, television and radio monitor. Torture used by Secret Service. Let's just go on all threats. On all threats, there's torture. Yeah. For violent crimes, no matter what the violent crime is. Oh, preemptive measures. Oh, there you go. We're torturing the crap out of you to make sure nothing bad happens. But torturing me is something bad. Yeah. But it's not happening to us. Well, that's a fair point. Flags on every street corner. Most city streets. <clears throat> Compulsory church attendance. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's everything in moderation. So I guess you're going to get fined if you don't go to church. So... Make sure when you go to church, you confess about the legal prostitution you did. Ban divorce? Ah, oh, sorry. Till death do y'all part. Only if a dangerous spouse. Oh, okay, there you go. So, yeah. Don't beat your spouse. That's, uh... Today's lesson of the day. Ban homosexuality. Public outing is banned. Punishable with jail. I believe I've said this before, but the, uh, the Bible was much more harsh on this. And unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, I have to ban public outing. National Armed Forces Week. So if I do medium, does that like be like National Armed Forces three and a half days? Or is it just a half day for a week? Needle exchange program. We're probably going to want that a little high since we legalized a bunch of drugs. Well, nobody seems to really care about Witness protection program. Medium. Sure, that makes sense. We have a... How's your witness protection program? It's medium. Okay, well, can I just... Take my chances running off by myself? Transportation. Man, we're going to fill this thing up, aren't we? Medium. Bus subsidies. Medium. Imagine having a president. Every issue that comes across his desk. Uh, sir, how do you feel about the car emission limits? Uh, medium. Uh, all right. Well, what about a clean fuel subsidy? Medium. What do you mean medium? What about free bus passes? I mean, all the voters want free bus passes. Medium. Sir, that doesn't make sense. Do you want to give bus passes for free or not? Medium. Uh, I won't make any current political commentary on 
that scenario. National Mon Monorail would be pretty cool. I mean, they talked about doing a, a bullet train from like San Diego to, uh, what was it, like San Francisco or something, and you can make it in like three hours. That'd be pretty awesome. Satellite road pricing. Well, how much should we make it? Medium. Telecommunicating. Alright, telecommute. Alright, do you guys want to work from home? Oh, I'm sure a lot of people want to work from home. Or, since 2020, maybe people don't want to ever work from home again. But, the answer is the same. Medium. Toll roads. Medium. <laughs> Transportation. Fuel efficiency. Medium. It's going to get tricky when I get to the taxes. Electric cars for banned gas powered cars. Well, that would be awful. Some gas powered cars smell amazing. Driverless cars in metro areas. I guess that would be medium. Anti gravity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. I've tried this game so many times where I put a whole bunch of fun into anti grav and the Mars program, and nothing ever happens. Not within one presidency or two terms. New cars. I'm gonna have to get one next year. My lease is almost up on my truck. Ban low mile per gallon cars. That's terrible. Those are the ones that smell the best. You fire up a 65 Mustang, and I'm getting high from the fumes. Not too high, just the uh, medium. Ban. Cars in cities. Yes, I said that backwards. Okay, well, at least disabled still get to drive in the in the uh, cities. That's fine. Close airports. What would I want to do that for? You know, if I close international airports, they're going to call me racist and xenophobic. But medium. Ooh, cycling campaign. <clears throat> Why drive a car when you can ride a bike, right? <laughs> ride a bike to your doctor's appointment. So you, your, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Yeah, I'm trying to save the earth. Carpooling campaign. Sure, medium. Bicycle subsidies. Medium. Oh dear goodness. We got a long way to go. Adult education. Medium. Faith school subsidies. Medium. Free eye tests. A medium? Does that mean it's like 50% off or 60% off or is it free? I mean, you'd think it'd either be free or not free. Or maybe it's how much money you put into the free eye test. So it's like the, the font on the sheets would be uh, worn and faded. Free school meals. Take your medium grade food and go home. Organ donation. Presumed. Well, yeah, we figured he'd want to donate. Yeah, well, you know. Public libraries. Medium. 
Wrong button again. My alcohol's kicking in nicely. School prayers. Once a week. But what God are we praying to? And if you don't believe in a God, can you just sit there and start your work? Stem cell research. Medium. Oh, you know who's going to get mad on that one? These people right here. Oh, yeah. They're actually not too happy. They only got one thing feeding happiness. So far. So far. Because they're not implemented yet. They technically implement as I'm pushing the button that says implement. Partial grants. Sure. Right. They're partially implemented, but implementation time two quarters. So it takes time to get these things in place. Sort of like real life. You can't just sign a piece of paper and poof, the uh, more expensive plastic bags at the grocery stores magically show up the next day that you have to pay an extra 10 cents for. It's not like that. Unless, you know, it's predestined to pass. Art subsidies. Theaters. I think we're out of the mediums. Healthcare vouchers. Medium. Nah, I guess not. Human cloning. That's rad. If you can clone a human, you can clone organs. And there we go. No more kidney failures, heart attacks. Can we do lung transplants yet? I haven't looked that up at all. Prediction system for climate change. Dear God, climate change. Okay. The entire planet used to be ice. And over the past, say, 15,000 years, it's been slowly melting. So we're basically right now at the point where... Ban private education. Oh, I gotta do it. I don't want to do these things. And private health care. Oh, that's not good. I mean, we legalized a lot of drugs, and now we're banning some health care. Ouch. Everybody has to be on state. State health care. State schools. You guys like going to the DMV? Getting unemployment? Dealing with all that nightmare? You like putting the government in charge of every aspect of your life? And foreign church service. All of them are banned. That's medium. We'll just do, uh, I guess, minor churches. What's a minor church? Melting ice. Right. 15,000 years ago or so, it was an ice planet. More or less, people will argue with that. Um, and we are basically living in the part where if you think of a glass of ice water and the ice is slowly melting as you're drinking the drink, there's little, there, there's going to be a point where there's barely any ice left in there and then it'll be gone. I mean, ice melts. It's what happens. Then the funny thing you see, everybody saying, oh, global warming, you know, the, the whole planet's heating up, ice caps, everything is melting. And then you see Texas gets hit by a massive freeze, knocks out their power. They've never had to deal with that before. So you can't have it both ways. We're not getting hotter and colder at the same time, unless the Earth is on a un very unusual wobble going around the Earth. State employees, political, military, let's go for politicians. Yeah. yeah, so politicians take an oath, a religious oath, because, you know, they might not even be that religious. 
that religion might mean absolutely nothing to them. It's like you get an atheist swear in court on the Bible. You swear to tell the truth? Uh, sure, why not? Whatever. Uh oh, wife's home. Public religious broadcasts. Support for all channels. Healthy eating campaign. Oh, that's a really good idea. Oh, I wish we could do more than just medium. Public service. All right, let's go with the keep, keep the country tidy campaign. We should put a lot of money into that, but we're only going to do medium because we don't want it to look like real good all the time. Youth Politics Council. Medium. Free parenting classes. Since it's medium, I guess we pass the first section of having a child and we don't have the funds to cover raising the child. Social, Social Justice Foundation. Yeah, I have been watching a lot of that on YouTube. Because it's hilarious. Dear goodness, Coca-Cola just told their employees to be less white. Medium. Stamp out racism week. See, now this is where I would like to do more than medium. But, um... Medium. We'll stamp out racism for three and a half days, not a full week. Food labeling. We'll label half the food. You gotta guess what the other half is. <laughs> Compulsory foreign language classes. Which would be really good, but we're only gonna teach you verbs and nouns. You can figure the rest out. School sports. All right, you could play half a basketball game. We'll do Texas last. Agricultural. I mean, Texas Emmy. It really doesn't matter because we're doing medium the whole time. Oh, it's gonna make some people angry, eh? 38% airline tax. Dear goodness, people aren't going to want to fly anywhere. Alcohol tax. Oof. Yeah. I didn't kind of turn that down. Carbon tax. I mean, everything pretty much defaults to middle. Oh, there goes the GDP. You kind of need that to make money for your country. Graduate tax. I did not graduate a university, so support is very wow. Yeah, let's tax them. Sure. A flat income tax. So we just added a whole bunch of taxes, and now we're gonna do a flat income tax. I am going to do an executive order here and skip that one because I feel that kind of contradicts everything else we're doing here. Internet tax. Oh, it's coming. They're going to do an internet tax pretty soon. Or an economic recovery tax. That's what I'm waiting for. Luxury goods tax. Medium. Marriage tax allowance. Advantageous? Mm. Medium. What do you think about uh, mortgage tax relief? That's a good idea. We're just going to go medium. Plastic bag tax? Medium. 
Well, do you want to do it? Yes or no? Medium. Dear God. What is with this president? How about a mansion tax? Does the White House count as a mansion? I mean, it's got an ass load of rooms. Oh, hey, that's another way we can make the country a whole bunch of money. Rent out the rooms like a hotel. It's the White House Hotel. Oh, people, pay people would definitely pay for that, and they might not want to leave. I'd definitely go. That'd be awesome. I don't care who the president is. Junk food tax. 46%. Uh, you go, let's say, you just go to your restaurant of choice and you get a burger, you get food for the family, it's like 20 bucks. Okay, let's add 46% to that, 20 bucks. Health food subsidies. Well, we do want people to eat healthier. Obviously, the voters don't give a shit if people don't eat healthier. But we're going to do medium. Wrong button. Health tax. Okay, so they want tax credits for their health. They want a better health system, but they also want drugs, alcohol, and junk food. You could save a lot of money by not doing the drugs, alcohol, and junk food. Medium. Recreational drugs. Medium. I mean, we did legalize a lot of... Dear goodness, look at all these. We're getting there. Internet currency taxation. You buy anything on Amazon, you get an extra 38% tax. Doesn't cost the government anything. They're going to bring in a cool billion. Automation tax. That usually makes people angry. Medium. Punitive wealth. Yeah. Sorry, wealthy people. There goes another 38%. Public tax returns, well, some details, like your name and your birthday. Your name and your birthday, that's all we need. Oh, tax on superstores. There's another 38% off of Target and Walmart. Ban Sunday shopping. Uh, we're doing everything in me medium. Do you want to ban Sunday shopping? Medium. Okay, we'll, we'll, ban, we'll, we'll just ban some shopping on Sunday. Ah, essential shopping on Sunday. There we go. Consumer right now. Wait, clean energy. Yeah, we want medium clean energy subsidies. We don't want to give out a lot to these people. Consumer rights. Automated refunds. That's interesting. Is that like a reverse Dropbox? Maternity leave. Three quarters pay? Dear goodness. Whew. Organic farming subsidies. Medium. Recycling. Yeah, we'll have recycling centers. Wow. 100% Yeah. Medium. Tax shelters. Ooh, we got a 50 50 split. split. Some people want it, some people don't want it. The people with money and the people without money.
Work safety? Eh, just be medium safe. If you're gonna do something stupid, at least tuck and roll. Oil drilling. What, nobody likes oil? You guys realize everything in your life is affected by oil? I'm pretty sure plastic is made out of some oil. Tax breaks for foreign investors? Medium. Medium. Robotics research grants. Yeah, just make some arms. We're fine. Well, the whole point is if you get robots automation, then people lose their jobs. And companies want to do it that way because it's cheaper. Robots aren't going to get injured and get workers caught. They're not going to get sued by a robotic arm. Although I, I'm sure if they did want to sue the company, they would have to do it in sign language. In my head, it's a factory of just a robotic arm and hand moving things. Mars program. I want to go to Mars. Antibiotics ban. Okay, now this everything in moderation is kind of hurting. Well, I hope the medium of you people don't get sick. Home fabrication plants. Medium. Air earth metal mining. Selected sites. Medium. I'm assuming the only, if anybody is ever watching this video, it's because they already know what this game is. Which is why I'm not explaining what everything is, what everything does. And why I'm really just goofing everything up. So, I'll just do a quick little for instance. If I take the state pensions way, I will piss off the retired people. The capitalist people will be slightly happier and the poor people will be slightly angry. Um, yep, that's about it. But I'd save money. Save money, cut pensions. If I throw a whole bunch of money into food stamps, you're also going to get welfare fraud. So you're going to kind of want to put some money into a uh, welfare fraud department. Basically, every decision that you make in this game has several positive and negative outcomes. And my theory here is making everything in moderation should, in theory, make everybody decently happy. Cap CEO multiplier. 20 times. So yeah, if, if my boss is making 20 times more than I am, then it gets capped. It gets capped at 20. Trade union restrictions. Companies distraction. Diversity quotas for companies. Yeah, that's uh, going up into Congress right now, isn't it? So basically, if there's too many white people on a board, someone, one of the white guys is getting fired because of his skin color. Mandatory. <sighs> Medium. Everything is medium. National Business Council. 
Everybody really wants it, but I'm only gonna make them half happy. I believe it seems to be slowing down a little bit. I think I have too many things here. I don't know if I've ever had this many things active on my board. I have not purchased Democracy 4 yet, but I've been following the developers of that for, I don't know, about six months or so, and it's looking pretty cool. Wrong button. I think in the next one you're allowed to do, uh, like, sort of like a press conference where you can make speeches and then your speech is what you choose to put in your speech will have positive or negative outcomes for the voters who may or may not be happy. Let's see, how much money should we put into this? Yep, you guessed it. Medium. Child benefits. Child care provisions. Disability benefits. State housing medium. Welfare fraud department. TV and ad campaigns. Okay. Don't shoot on your welfare. If you or someone you know is cheating on their welfare, please call our offices. Rent controls. Yeah. Holy dear goodness. Well drilling shirt. Wow. Almost there. Ah, oh, man. See, now we got to do a one-child policy. <laughs> uh, fees for a second child. Or fees. Exceptions for a second child. Fees. Mandatory sterilization. I'm, I'm guessing if you have twins or triplets... Uh, you're probably either getting feed or it's an exception. Octomom's going to be pissed. Yeah, I'll go with fees for the second child. You know the parents are definitely going to make that kid get a job soon. So you got to pay your way. We're paying to keep you. And what happens if you don't pay your taxes? Does the government come and collect your kid? <laughs> I guess so. Sorry you didn't pay for your uh, your son this week. Pick him up at the same place you picked him up two months ago. Ban second home ownership. So banning second home ownership could, in theory, reduce the homeless population. Because now there's more houses. Houses would also be slightly cheaper. Work for the unemployed. Yeah, most of the unemployed. Sure. It's like you're on unemployment, but you have to go to work to get your unemployment. It's like, well, I don't need the unemployment if I'm at work. Alcohol awareness. Yeah, we'll do an alcohol awareness campaign, but we're not going to be all pushed on. It's like, hey, you can stop drinking alcohol, but it's really just your call. Import tariffs. Medium. National service. Six months of service. Mandatory. I, I personally, in my life, I would have enjoyed that. A mandatory six months. Sure. 
surgical strikes on. Okay, medium. Hey, I've done so much for the environmentalists, they need to shut up. Oh, yeah, I'm fixing them off again. Medium. Tourism. Medium. Diplomatic service. Medium. Okay, I think that's it. Except for that extra tax one. All right, we got everything. Now we just keep clicking next. And then a couple bills that approach our desk. Credit ratings down. Unemployment's going down. Crime's going down. Health's going up. Education up. Poverty down. Look at that. I'd get 30% of the vote if they did it right now. Oh. Oh. Very angry. My intelligent brief. This is where I can see who wants to kill me. But since I turn assassinations off, they can't kill me. Oh, this is going slow. I have too many things on my board. Hey, look. Look at all those green arrows going up. The wealthy are getting angry. Oh, yeah, look at all those taxes. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not. Oh, Luddite riots. See, I told you. You start putting money into automation and robot arms in the factories, and people who hate technology start coming up and destroying technology. Let's see. We will limit agency activity. 34%. This game does have a lot of good uh, political quotes on every board. Dear goodness, look at all that. Let's see, our income is two, expense is four. But I don't think everything is implemented yet. Some things take longer than others. Ah, teacher shortage. If only we didn't ban private education. Debt crisis, street gangs is at an end. Look at that, the crime like dropped, didn't it? Now, what I've noticed in this game, <clears throat> whenever the GDP starts going up, unfortunate stuff always happens. I would give examples of those unfortunate things, but I'm just going to let it play out and you can see. <clears throat> Man, the capitalists are pissed. Pollution is at an end. You hear that, LA? Pollution's at an end. Doctor strike. Well, that's going to be fun. Internet crime is at an end. Homelessness at an end. Ooh, a senior judge. Unfortunately, I think society today would say, who cares? Who cares? Oh, wait, that's a woman. So sad. Oof. I want to get the Patriot Party pissed. That's the triple P. Patriot Party pissed. Uh, health's going down. See, how did the GDP just tank? Well, the retired people are happy. Conservatives are doing backflips over here. Skill sorted, shortage. Go back to school. Learn a skill. 
a skill that doesn't involve flicking your thumb from the bottom of the screen to the top. Freedom of information. Sure, why not? 33%. See, they're criticizing my government policy all over the radio. Well, good thing I've been moderately censoring the media and radio and TV. Oh, look at that. If you put the federal government in charge of the Sahara Desert in five years, there'd be a shortage of sand. Yep. Media backlash. Well, good thing I'm censoring it. Look, asthma does not exist anymore. Well, at least the epidemic of asthma. Obesity is at an end. That means people are going to live longer. That means they can work longer. Quick, raise the, uh, the retirement age. If they can work longer, we could get some more hours out of them. Are we done yet? Where are we at? GDP tanked. I don't even know why it tanked. I also don't care because I'm not playing the game that way. Alcohol abuse. Is that an end? Ah, that's terrible. You know how many people are going to lose their jobs at the alcohol factories? If people stop drinking, then you're going to have to lay people off. Um... We'll restrict some bonuses this time. Just the uh, medium bonuses. Come on. Oh my god. Goodness, we're not even close. Well, like nine more turns. Power lines. Build power lines. Unless you don't want power. Why, why wouldn't you build power lines if people are saying we need more power lines? And all those people thinking a, a gigantic Tesla coil would be the best option because then we wouldn't need power lines. Have you ever been in the same room with a Tesla coil? They're loud as shit. Nobody would be able to sleep in the town if you had those everywhere. It's literally lightning. Ooh, look at that. I just jumped up from 31 to 68% approval. Unemployment's going up. Car company shuts down. Well, people don't want to buy cars from you. Maybe cars are too expensive. Uh-oh. Hey, look at that. 76% now. Nuclear test ban? Okay, <laughs> why not? Let's see what happens. Come on, you know every single person, every country that would ever sign an anti-nuclear weapon bill or a treaty, you know they're going to be stockpiling some just hidden in the corner. Do you think the cavemen would sign a, a treaty banning sticks above three feet when fighting each other? No, it's whoever has the biggest stick wins. Biggest stick wins. I had to make sure I enunciate that so it doesn't sound like I'm saying something else. I said biggest 
stick wins. Corporate manslaughter bill. Yeah, I'll let the corporations slaughter some of their people. Uh, yeah. Why not? Safety is our number one priority. 78%. Look at that. Damn it. I don't want to get reelected. I want to go to bed. Oh, I know, you're stressed out because you're working all the time. But at least you have a job, so quit complaining. Poverty's down. Look at that, crime's down. Well, we're getting there. Appoint a UN ambassador. Compromise and understanding. Sure, we'll try that one. 82%. Looks like I'm getting reelected by just giving everybody a little bit of everything. Good and bad. So it kind of sounds like the least amount of restrictions on the population, the better everything works. Internet tracking. Eh, we'll ban that one. Hey, look, she's unhappy with what I'm doing. I don't care. I'm medium. 83% of the vote. Let's see. We're in a recession, but everybody's working. Well, almost everybody. Dear goodness. I really need to raise taxes, don't I? There's not that much debt. I mean, if it's if it's our own money and we owe ourselves our own money, does it really count as debt? Shut up, you're censored. All right, here we go. Is it election day? Is it voting day? I think, I think the game is going to take like a whole week or two just to count all the votes before I find out if I was re-elected or not. Okay, here we go. Start the count. I'll see you guys in a week. Damn it. Hey, I won with 63%. Alright, well, I won. Here's the breakdown of my voters. Who voted for whom? Well, that's interesting. How come the minorities didn't vote? Not a single minority voted. That's... That's actually sad. They're Americans too, damn it. Changes. All right, here we go. Crime down 100%. Look at that. And all I did was make the death penalty for, like, most stuff. Productivity is up, up, down. Unemployment's down. Racial tension went up. That's because I did, like, a medium... Uh, 
anti-racism stamp out racism week it's like three and a half days all right begin next term ban same-sex well we're gonna go ahead and end it here because i'm going to bed <laughs>